In today's quick lesson, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to cover how I count rhythms on my fingers. This has been a method I've used for almost 15 years to decipher and count along with complex rhythms. This idea is obviously not something that I came up with. Lots of different cultures have used similar methods for centuries. The conical from India, for example, uses counting on the fingers as well. And in Western music theory, clapping is one of the very first ways that we learn about rhythm. I haven't come across a system exactly like the one I use, but if you've seen one similar to this, or if I happen to rip it off from someone and I didn't know, please let me know in the comments. In my system, I only use one hand, and usually that's the right hand. I either tap my fingers against a flat surface or on my own leg or chest. The downbeat of a measure is always done with the index finger in my system. From there, I would move down my fingers towards the pinky. So a 4-4 measure would look like this. One, two, three, four, one, two. 3, 4, 1. A measure of 3, 4 would be done like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. Each finger is happening on a strong beat of a time signature. So if I was to count 12, 8, which is usually divided as 4 beats of 3, or 4 compound beats, it would look just like 4, 4. 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In this case, each finger has 3 eighth notes happening within it, instead of 2 like we had with 4, 4. The one time signature I do a little bit different is 6-8. Here I go from the index finger to the pinky and back like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because 6-8 has two stronger beats on 1 and 4, it always felt more natural for me to have those stronger beats on the outside fingers, but you could do 6 like this as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's take a look at how I'd count odd time signatures with this system. For 5-4, I would add in the thumb. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Sometimes with 5-4, I'll repeat the index finger at the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. For 7-4, I would add 4 and 3 together like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. I only have 5 fingers, obviously. So if the number I need to count is higher than five, I'm going to have to repeat fingers somewhere. The real power of this approach comes into play when I don't have every finger cover the same subdivision. For example, let's look at the first rhythm I covered in my 10 odd meters you need to know lesson. This one is in 7-8 and it's divided as 2, 2, and 3. If I was to count this, my fingers would treat each one of these as the strong beats. And that would look like this. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The index finger is still on the downbeat of each measure, but the ring finger in this case is covering three eighth notes, while the index and middle finger are covering two eighth notes. Let's do another one of the rhythms from the 10 odd meters lesson. This one is in 9-8 divided as 3-2-2-2, two, two, two. so four beats, which means I'll use four fingers, but the first beat is going to be longer. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. I'll also have a finger do a shorter amount of time. If I treated 9-8 as 4-4 four, four with one added eighth note, I would get this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and a 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. Here that last finger is taking up only one eighth note instead of two. That covers all of the main ways that I would use this finger counting method. So let's take a look at some examples of how I would use this with some more advanced rhythms. I'll be using music that's been released for the Prague School this year. Here's the intro to the fourth wall. This is going back and forth between 7-4 and 6-4. I'm going to count these the same, with 6-4 having one less finger. Next, let's take a look at the 9-8 section from Surface Tension. This rhythm was written as 2-3-2-2, two, 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 which I'd count like this. This one I'm feeling with more of a quarter note pulse, where two measures of 9-8 feel more like one measure of 9-4. In this case, I'd probably do it in 9-4, like this. Last 
lastly, let's look at the newest Prague School single, Anamorphosis. The main rhythm in the A sections is 13-8 divided as 2-2-3-3-3. Two, two, three, three, three. So I'll use five fingers on this one, like so. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This one also has a steady pulse in the cymbals, this time a half note pulse, so I could count it as 13 larger beats. Depending on the specific rhythm, like in these last two examples, there might be multiple ways for me to count it with my fingers. This system is also really great for figuring out the time signatures of songs you might be checking out. Now I can't really demonstrate this properly here because I don't want a copyright strike on this particular video, but this is one of the main methods that I use for figuring out complex rhythms in the music that I'm listening to. If you're trying to use this method to figure out some rhythms, I'd really focus on the index finger as the downbeat. This gives a really nice physical representation of where each measure starts. So there's a quick look at how I count time signatures with my fingers. This method may or may not be useful for you, but at the very least you can see how I've made use of this and maybe that can inspire you to create your own system for counting time signatures. As always, if you enjoyed this lesson, subscribe, hit the bell notification, like, comment, share. Till next time, stay proggy.